22 of the push-up challenge, 22 for vets, this is Marvin aka E. Marvin, gonna do my push-ups, but first a quick message, use your imagination, it's typical for many to start to not lose, but trying to put away their imagination as, as they grow older, I, I can say I am guilty of that as well. Because and that tends to make us not as creative as we are when we're younger. Because when we're younger, we have less inhibitions. We don't doesn't matter what other others say. But as we get older, we get, it could be because we get criticized for you know things that others might think are weird or whatever. So we suppress our imagination. And if you have the opportunity, then you get in to a point where you realize that your imagination is good. So, before you get to that point, know that having a vivid imagination is beneficial for many different things. For being creative or doing any number of activities just from, uh, let's say, being with family, doing... Uh, family activities or just work as well that it can also be beneficial also of course for school so use your imagination even as you grow older advice that I need to follow too now onto my push-ups let's go Hey, how you doing? I'm just gonna finish. There we have it, that's 45. Let me know if you wanna join me, I'll hold you accountable. Remember, use your imagination. Good to hear, you're doing well. One moment. Happy Friday, your last Friday of the school year, right? If I calculate correctly. Or do you have one more next week? Cool, congrats. and stressful or worrisome you know make the best of it enjoy the time appreciate what you have and what you've 
achieved already. So it's all worth. It. It'll be worth it. <laughs> yeah, that's graduations is a transition in life from one chapter to another. So you're closing your one one area of your life and then moving on to your next learning from experiences that you've had and then looking to improve so yep it will be emotional just accept that it will be and it's fine to have emotions it's n no problem means you're hum human of course there are some humans that don't that have emotions so. oh you have to do a speech cool that means you're up there in grades are you like a salutatorian or valed valedictorian or a leader of a, an organization One thing for sure is to practice. You know, it's kind of weird, at least for the first time you do it, is actually record yourself and then watch it and learn from how you how you actually speak. Identify areas of improvement and then do it again. So and, the, and that's natural to be scared of that as well especially if you're going to be in front of a large audience is practice no matter what it's for you know, practice it because the more you practice it the better you get if you want to uh, you know, ideally write out your speech if, if possible but don't memorize it word for word unless you have a chance to read it but still even if you can read it practice it have you know be on your computer have the the speech right next to you and then you know, read make eye contact is an important thing and uh, you know record yourself a few times get the opinion of uh, somebody that's trusted maybe somebody that you feel has more experience with public speaking that they can give you uh, constructive criticism on that could also be beneficial so you do well and I mean it's it's a uh, your school speech so yeah I mean like I can understand why you're scared <laughs> especially if you haven't uh, spoken to a large audience in the past that amount of people can be overwhelming but the more comfortable you are with your speech the easier it is because you know your subject you know what you're talking about so practice 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 <laughs> okay so you've had some stage time before so that helps you can you can visualize all the people out there which of course can be nerve-wracking or just know that they'll be there but it's just like if you're speaking to yourself or to in front of your class take it as that there's no you know, it's just a few more people that you probably can't see you could probably see only about 
10 to 20 people in the front and then after that it's kind of a blur so you can imagine yourself just speaking to your class <laughs> yeah you might see everyone but do you actually s really see them When do you get your cap and gown? Then if you really see them, let them see you. Make eye, t eye contact with them so that you know that they're, that you're talking to them. Like focus a few sentences here and a few sentences over here and then over here looking to all sides sides of the audience because even if you look at one person the people around that person are going to think that you're talking to them is more personal so you give it the audience a chance to connect more with you so i think that's beneficial why don't you wear your cap and gown just to get comfortable with it You don't have to imagine yourself, just put it on and it's on. No, no imagination necessary for that. Just do it. Mm -hmm. And then that would be a good way of putting yourself in the moment of you wearing your cap and gown and you're also doing your speech. You give you like it's a mental thing so you're able to connect okay i got my cap and down i'm ready to give a speech i know what i'm saying i know what i'm doing so. but again definitely practice 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 even if it's ne next week you have you have time you can practice a few times ideally maybe a couple of times or three or four times a day but at a minimum, you can do at least once a day. If you don't have your speech written out, so then craft that speech as soon as possible, or at least get an outline. So that way you have all your main points that you want to cover. Because you want all, another thing about recording your speech is you get an idea of how long it's supposed to take. Because if you have a time limit, and really everyone should, then you, when you are practicing, you're, you realize how long it's going to take. I think it, it's natural to stutter when you're nervous. That's, it happens. It happens to many people. I mean, look at the president that are, you know, he has a little bit of stutter that he's, but he's worked on over the years, so it's, and it happens again when you're nervous or you're trying to speak too fast. So one thing that helps with that is slow down, especially when you're doing a speech and you're nervous, you're, you're going faster and faster. Another reason why recording yourself could be beneficial because then you realize how fast you're going because once you're in it and doing it, you don't realize how fast you're going, whether you're in a monotone or you're speaking too softly. But if you record yourself, you see all those little nuances that can make your speech better. So definitely for stuttering, slow down and be confident about your subject.
Oh, rec room. I know there's a rec room in, in what do you call it? Uh, Oculus. Oculus has a rec room, so I wonder if there's a something similar. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not try that? That could be a thing to do. Now you have to be aware, like as you know, online. Oh, okay. <laughs> Online, there's always going to be trolls. So, you might hear somebody speaking or trying to practice, and they're going to be trolling. So, <laughs> that's the only thing about doing it online. You get, you get distractions. So, huh. Now that, take it with a grain of salt. Those people that are just being negative and not being constructive. Now, there's this constructive criticism. <laughs> right there's always the mute button this constructive criticism that uh, people can give you and that's that can be beneficial so take you can either listen you know definitely listen to it if it's constructive and then see if it's something that you can apply well that's good to a certain extent because little by little negativity you know weighs on anybody because if you're always hearing negativity then I mean it, it affects you even if it's even if it's something that oh yeah I've heard that before but you know, there are there are times when it gets to you so I'd say try maybe a couple of times yourself just record yourself and then once you think you improved on your original then do it do it out on rec room yeah i don't think it would hurt again just to be aware of the of the trolls out there because there are many <laughs> they just like to bring people down for no reason because because they can <laughs> they got nothing better to do benefiting anyone <laughs> by them saying that it just makes them feel good for the for a moment that they bring others down yeah for me it's not worth it I, it's not I want to build people up I don't want to bring them down there's I think there's enough opportunity in the world for all of us to do well. So, uh, if I can, I'll lift people up. If they're not receptive, then, you know, I can't control them. Yeah. The thing is, still, mm, as you know, many people are get online to distract themselves from the real world and they they have real world problems that you know a troll would could have a very negative impact on somebody that's you know, a little bit more sensitive or has gone through some troubles and then maybe just looking to make an online friend so but what they hear is negativity and of course that could affect them worse than if you, you know, interacted with people in real life. So it's good that you're conscious of that. Yeah, I get it. Well, you know, Without the, unfortunately, without the negative, there is no positive. I guess there's one way of looking at it. If there could be less negativity, that would be great. I don't know if it will ever go away completely, but 
I can. I mean, there's seven billion people in the world. <laughs> there's, there's always going to be bound to be some somebody that just doesn't doesn't know how to deal with people. There's gonna be you know, many people that are like that. We see this here in the U.S. That's a common thing. And the, unfortunately, those are the ones that get the most, let's say, for example, news coverage or most attention because it's more dramatic. Whereas the, you know, reinf let's say positive reinforcement or talking about positive things, not those don't get as much reaction maybe we're strange beings as you know humans in some ways masochist because we're want to see uh you know watch videos of people suffering or or you know that are getting pranked and or saying negative things and it's like and those have millions of views. But you see somebody that's trying to do well or something like that, then that might not get as many because people aren't interested in the in that. So, yeah, but the thing is, if you worry too much about the bigger problems, then it can seem overwhelming. So you control what you can control, and that's yourself. You're not going to be able to tell somebody to change and they change just because you told them you just you be you and you know be positive yourself and who knows it might rub, rub off on some people and then you've affected that person positively so just be you and know that you can control yourself but you can't control others <laughs> that's the that's the thing I think once and many people I know even as a as a parent it's difficult to imagine that it's like why do my kids just listen to me even as a parent it's like you don't have full control over everything, especially as the kids get older. But at least you try to make the best decisions for them. And control as much as you can control. Anything that's out of your control, then what can you do? Adjust your reaction to them. If you can avoid it, then avoid it. If not, then find a way to cope. to learn to go live earlier <laughs> that way yeah you need to go rest too right you need to get up early so make the best of the last week connect with others that you think you want to talk to more in the future so you never know. I mean, it's just you know, say things that you know, say positive things that you you f you felt that maybe you bottled up in the throughout the year, so or compliment to someone that uh, that you might not have complimented before. So. 
shoot your shot, <laughs> as they say. All right, again, have a good one. Happy Friday, and <laughs> I'll see you online next time on stream. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit earlier. So, <laughs> all right, take care. Have a good Friday. See y'all. And remember, the message for today, use your imagination. This is Marvin. Peace. Out. Have a good one. Good night.